Well, yeah, that's, that's a long discussion. But in essence, the, the, the keys to that discussion would be, first of all, we know that <coughs> excuse me, um, most pastors are not leaders. They're good people, but they haven't been called by God to lead. Now, they've been called to ministry, mm -hmm. but most of them, even by their own admission, aren't gifted in the area of leadership. They're gifted in the area of preaching or teaching. And that's what they've been called to do. That's what they're great at. That's what they love to do. That's where they get the greatest resonance with the people that they're ministering to. But the problem is the model that we have for the church, which we created about five or 600 years ago. It's not scriptural. We kind of made it up. You look at that model and it dictates that if you want to use that gift of teaching or preaching, the only way you get to do it is by being the leader. And so we've confused the fact that leadership and teaching are two very different gifts, two different ways of thinking, two different heart sets, two different ways of relating to people, different kinds of objectives. But the only way that you get that platform, you get that microphone, that opportunity to teach, you have to become the leader. And so they struggle with the whole leadership component. It's, it's no, no surprise that they don't feel effective as leaders. They weren't called to lead. They don't have a passion for leading. They don't have the gifts for leading. They don't really enjoy leading, you know, but the only way they get to do what they do enjoy and what they're good at is by combining those two roles.